Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to the Curse of Monkey Island for more point and click adventure game action. We are right back where we left off in this hotel with the fortune teller and the hungover bartender. Um, and we're going to hopefully do something with this nachos machine over here, but um, we'll get onto that in a minute. Because if you haven't already done so, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell down below the video so you get a notification to your device every time I upload. And as always guys, thank you all for your ongoing support. So, let us do this. In the last one, we got um, two of the ingredients we needed for the hangover cure, which was the smelly dog hair and the pepper. And we also got this unmelted hunk of nacho cheese, which I can only imagine we've got to put into the nacho maker mm. thing. No, oh, he's literally just saying, hmm. Okay, let's try it. It's broken and won't melt this cheese. Oh, it's broken. I don't want to use the cheese with that. How do we unbreak it? Huh. Maybe the mallet. I can't use the mallet with that. No, okay. So that's confused things somewhat. So it's it's broken, is it? I'm sure it's never been cleaned. Ah, can we clean it perhaps? The bottle has a cork in it. Oh yeah, we've got to get that cork out of the bottle, haven't we? Can we use the chisel to do that? I can't use the chisel with that. No, the mallet. Maybe we need the other item on the beach to be able to do this. It's got to be something to do with this cheese, hasn't it? I can't use the mallet with that. No, okay. So that puts a little bit of a dent in my plans for how to start this episode then, I suppose. The only thing I can now think of is to go and check out... What's that there? There was like a... Seemed like a little area we could go to there. Maybe it's just... Oh, I think it's just dragging that across. Okay. Let us go this way. We'll head out through this gate. Down here. And we're going to go check out those strange lights up by... Near the volcano. Because I think we've pretty much exhausted everything else for now. Except how to get that egg. Um, which was down here, wasn't it? So we've got to find a way of getting this egg out of here. I have no idea how we're going to do that. I doubt we can throw the mallet up there. There is this. It's kind of weird that this is here. Perhaps that has something to do with it. I can't use the mallet with that. Can we use the mallet with this? I can't use the mallet with that. No. Hmm. Mm, no. Lost Welshman Ferry Line. Haunted sea cruises and whale watching excursions daily. Yeah, so we've got to find a way of getting that egg. I have no it's idea how we're going to do that. Sitting precariously at the top of that tree. Oh, it's a rubber tree. Can we perhaps cut it down? Wow, I never knew the Caribbean had so many rubber trees. <laughs> Neither did I. I can't shake it hard enough with just my hand. Right, we've got to shake it with something. The egg would break when it hit the ground. Right, so we've got to put something underneath. <gasps> the cushion. It's got to be the cushion, right? Here we go. So I think I figured it out, actually. <laughs> there we go. It made sense in the end. So now we can go back. Oh, brilliant. Um, so I was going to go check out the strange lights, but now I'm not going to, because we can make that drink now, can't we, for the hungover bartender. So we'll do that first. Head up to the hotel, and then we'll go up here later on to the strange lights. So, Guybrush, get yourself inside. How are we going to make this drink, then? We've got the recipes book. No. Okay, you won't do it like that. Um, where was it? Where was it? Where was it? Here we go. A pirate's first hangover cure. Clear the foggy heads. One egg, pepper, hair of the dog that bit you. So we've got the ingredients. How the hell... Are we going to make it? Can we perhaps put it all in this empty jar? Is that a thing? I don't want to use it with the brochures. I can't use a pepper with that. I can't use a pepper with that. Uh, can we... It's the bartender. Can we make him... How do we make him a drink, then? What was that? I... Shh, just get me the ingredients for a hangover remedy and oh. I'll talk to okay. you. Okay. 
So we've got to give him the ingredients then, like this. This is some of the hair of the dog that bit me. Shh. <laughs> Right, this has turned out better than I thought it was going Here's to at the beginning of this episode, which is good. Shh. Eggs. Right, the last ingredient is the egg. I found this egg for your hangover remedy. Shh. Eggs. That should be all of it now, right? All the ingredients I need. Let me quietly mix up and do. <laughs> okay, if you say so, mate. Oh, he is going to use that glass there that we saw. <laughs> Much better. Yeah, you can take the rest. Well, we get to keep it, okay. Okay, um, I don't believe we've met. Who are you? I don't believe we've met. Who are you? I am Griswold, last of the good soups and proprietor of this hotel. I see. You may have heard of us and our soup restaurant resort empire that stretches across the Caribbean. Um, well, I can't say I have actually. Oh, this was once our proudest resort. In recent years, however, hard times have befallen the family good soup. Mm, I can and imagine. Be alone in this rotting hotel, the good soup plantation resort hotel and casino. Where's the casino? <laughs> what do you know about the lost ring of Blood Island, anyway? What do you know about the lost ring of Blood Island? Oh, that's a very sad chapter in my family's history. Is it now? My great aunt Minnie Stroney Good Soup. <laughs> Minnie Stroney Good Soup. <laughs> Brilliant. Was her romantic nature. She had a thing for pirates. One in particular. He came into port. She fell instantly in love, and they were engaged within the week. Wow, that's then, pretty quick. On the eve of their wedding, he stole the fantastic good soup diamond from her ring and sold it to smugglers on the Oh no! What a terrible the pirate. Band on her finger until the day she died. Which was not long after. Ah, she's gonna Some be. We're gonna have to dig up her body or something. The good soup family tomb. Or talk. We've story. got to get into that tomb and talk to the ghost. Oh, I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. Uh, could you repeat that? Good loss, chowder head. Okay. Okay. Hypothetically, how would one get into your aunt's tomb? Uh, hypothetically, how would one get into your aunt's tomb? I suppose you would have to die. Oh crud. <laughs> okay. Um. How can I get out to Skull Island? How can I get out to Skull Island? Where the hell is Skull Island? Oh, there used to be a regular ferry out to oh Skull that's Island. probably where the used to? egg was. Oh, one cold night, so the tale goes, the Welshman set out in his dinghy. Mm -hmm. The deep fog around Skull Isle obscured even the moon. Wow, the pretty foggy then. The distant light of the Blood Island lighthouse. When it rode half the distance, the light in the lighthouse was mysterious. Oh, mystery. I see. And the poor Welshman was lost, almost never to be seen again. The lighthouse. Almost? Well, there are those who say that late at night, if you stare into the fog long enough, you may see the flying Welshman. So we're going to have to repair the lighthouse, aren't we? Which was what I thought we were going to have to use those fireflies for. Um, how's business? How's business? Oh, I need another drink. <laughs> Not good, I take it. Just look around. No guests, no food, no entertainment. Not even the cannibals will come. Cannibals? My only regular is a spooky old... Hopefully not the, they're not the cannibals of Monkey Island. Uh, no offense, ben We've had a run-in with those guys before. Max on your first board. Hmm, <laughs> yes, right. <laughs> okay. Uh, why don't you try to liven the place up a little? What happened to all the guests? Maybe if you tried a more aggressive marketing scheme. Why don't you try to liven the place up a little? Well, that's quite a story. I wonder if we're going to have to help to do that. This hotel was one of the hottest destinations in the Caribbean. People came from around the globe to see our world-famous dinner show. I see. You may have noticed the oddly shaped barbecue out on the patio. Yeah, I saw that earlier. Yes, I did notice that. Well... That barbecue was the centerpiece of our nightly entertainment. Isn't a barbecue the central attraction of most sophisticated nightlife activities? Maybe, but no one else had a barbecue like this one. Well, Every what was special night about it? The guests would gather round on the patio, and at precisely six o'clock. Uh, you'd break out the charcoal lighter fluid, you'd recite original poetry, you'd make chewy delicious s'mores. You'd make chewy delicious s'mores? No. 
Do you want to hear the story or not? Oh, yeah, I wouldn't have oh, asked. I'm sorry, I'm fascinated. Please go on. Well, every night at precisely six o'clock, the volcano would erupt. Ah. The lava would flow down the side of the mountain and into the special. I bet the volcano stopped erupting. The the guests absolutely We're going to have to find a way of getting the volcano to erupt again, aren't we? Uh, isn't that some kind of fire hazard? Isn't that some kind of fire hazard? Well, we'd get a case of severe third degree burns every now and then. <laughs> oh my god. Everybody agreed that it was worth it. That volcano was a showstopper. One day, the volcano just inexplicably stopped erupting. Hmm. Without our main attraction, the resort just So we're going to have to get up there, the make the volcano go back to erupting, since, the volcano and bring the attraction back to the hotel. Tragic. Okay, um, what happened to all the guests? What happened to all the guests? After the place started to run down, they all checked out. All except for one, the guest, but never left. Who's that, Madame Zena? Is this going to be scary? Because I warn you. Every night we heard strange noises coming from his room. Frightful crashing sounds that shook the entire hotel, each followed by the most horrible screaming and cursing. Then, one night, the sounds just stopped. Yeah. But when replaced with a terrifying wailing and moaning, I had the room sealed and vowed never to enter. Oh, that that's place the locked place room. Again. Would you let me in the guest room? Would you let me into the guest room upstairs? No. It is locked for a reason. Let no man disturb the dark spirits who occupy that room. Okay, fine. Um Right. Maybe if you try to Let's more try the marketing thing. Marketing scheme. I've tried everything. Pamphlets, stickers, extensive print campaigns. <laughs> I even tried passing out vials of my own blood in Oh my god. Sudden, my parents went to Blood Island, and all I got was this lousy plant. <laughs> That's just That gross. is very weird. Well, with the benefit of hindsight, I suppose it is. Okay, um... Maybe if you booked in some more entertainers. Well, maybe if you booked some more entertainers. I booked a juggling act here a while back, but that didn't work out. Rather a moody guy kept talking about suffering for his art and all that. Okay. The guests hated him. They actually cheered when he burst into flame during his firewalking act. Jeez, um... Okay, that's a shame. Yeah, that's a shame. Sorry I brought it up. Okay, um... I'd like a drink. I'd like a drink, please. Sure. What will you have? Oh, okay, what do we want? Something to clear the sinuses. That reeks of sophistication. Big fruit drink with an umbrella. Something subtle with a hint of oak. Give me something to clear my sinuses. One grog and menthol. <laughs> grog and menthol. Right <laughs> sure, sure. Do we get to... Ah. So we might need... Oh no. Ah, Papa Pichu. I have your glass back. Okay, can we take this jar now? That jar's for my tips. Put it back. But I was gonna put a whole lot of money in it. Too much for me to carry around with me. So I'm gonna have to take it with me and fill it up. Oh, okay then. <laughs> wow, we bought that. Okay, so I'm thinking we probably use this on those fireflies. That's, that is my gut feeling here. I might be wrong. We'll try it. But I was thinking maybe we put the fireflies in the jar, take it to the lighthouse, and then we can use that as the replacement for the bulb. I don't know. We'll see. Let's um, go back to Elaine. There's all these fireflies here. They won't fly into the jar for no reason. Right, so we've got to put something in there. What's this? Head be clear. Head be clear. For clearing foggy heads. Okay, it's just the rest of the thing. Right, so what can we put in there to get the fireflies to go in? The shaving soap, maybe? The cheese? I don't want to use the cheese with that. No, so we've got to find something to put in there. Maybe there's a recipe. Uh, rum surprise, no. Yellow bids baby, bloody stump. Blue whale, no. 
Fleming tonic, that sounds disgusting. A bloated tick. Swamp zombie. Uh, no, we don't want that one. Top secret biscuit recipe. <laughs> It's disgusting. Okay, nice. There's nothing there. We're going to have to find something to put into the jar, aren't we? Hmm. Okay, let's leave this area. We'll go up to this strange lights bit up here. What the hell is this place? Is this where the cannibals live? This village is deserted. How curious. This is going to be where the cannibals live, isn't it? It's got all these block of tofu. It's a large cube of tofu. Can we perhaps use the chisel on it? Well, I'll have to pick it up first. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> that looks like a mask. Tofu mask. What the hell? Okay, that's weird. I don't know what that's done. We'll have to, that'll, that'll have a reason, but I don't know I what. Any use for this fruit. Very classy. Can we do anything to that? Well, I haven't gotten any use for this fruit. No. That. Mm. Can we smash it? I can't use the mallet with that. No. Okay. What are these chafing dishes? Is that a, what? It looks like kidney pie. Ugh. Disgusting. I bet this is where the cannibals live. Take that, we'll take the measuring cup. What are these things? It's decorative yet functional. What is this thing? It's an auger. Auger? What is an auger? Uh I guess we go up here. Some masks here. It's a hand carved mask in the likeness of Leroy. God of pudding. <laughs> God of pudding? Okay, can we take mm, it? No. Right, let's head up here. I bet this is the cannibals. Like their little village or something. Ornamental skulls there as well. Maybe we can take some of those. I don't know. Maybe the... Oh my god, it is the cannibals from Monkey Island. <laughs> the Lemonhead one. Oh my god, why? How did they get here? Hmm... You look familiar somehow. You look familiar somehow. Perhaps it's because I look like a big lemon. It's because oh, we met yeah. a monkey island. But it's more than that. We've met before. Back on Monkey Island. Ah, <laughs> uh, Monkey Island. <laughs> it is them. We had a nice village there. <laughs> oh Red my god, why? Good schools. Those were the salad days, so to speak. Till they put in that darned carnival. Carnival? <laughs> Yes, carnival. What on Just earth? as soon as they put up the first tent, whoosh, the whole place becomes trendy. <laughs> Sailors coming in at all times of the night. That awful music droning on and on. And to be honest with you, I think the Midway games are rigged. Yeah, yeah. Okay. At night, it wasn't safe for a cannibal to walk the island alone. <laughs> okay. Um, cannibals? Cannibals? You say that like it's a bad thing. Well, it's true. But we are no longer vicious and bloodthirsty cannibals. Oh. No. No. Oh, okay. We underwent a paradigm shift in our belief system several years ago. <laughs> a paradigm shift? A paradigm shift? You don't say. We decided we wanted to live a healthy cannibal lifestyle. Completely right. cut back on our fatty missionary intake and went vegetarian altogether. <laughs> oh my god. There certainly was a time I would have eaten you. Well, you did try. Young guy like you, not too much muscle. Hey! I'd probably marinate you in white wine for 45 minutes. Dip you in a light corn batter. Okay. Wrap you in banana leaves and bury you in a pit with a hundred hot coals. <laughs> Let you roast so overnight. creepy. Then I'd serve you on a bed of basmati rice <laughs> with a garnish of shiitake mushrooms and shallots. <laughs> it's really going to a but lot of detail. Torn, right? Hmm... <laughs> But, but not anymore, right? Yeah, uh, not anymore. Oh, yeah, right, right. Yeah, 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 of course. Um, nice village you have. Uh, oh, I didn't around. mean to press that. Okay. Is there something down there. I am Guybrush. Boy, am I getting tired of saying this. <laughs> Threepwood. 
Mighty pirate, yada yada yada. I am Lemonhead. Can I help you with something? Yeah, it's Lemonhead. Um, aren't you afraid the volcano will destroy your village? Aren't you afraid the volcano will destroy your village? The volcano? Oh no. Mount Acidophilus is completely harmless. Acidophilus. We have curried favor with Sherman, the all-powerful god of the volcano. Oh. The god of the volcano like spicy foods? Shut up, or I'll eat you. Okay. When we first landed on this island, the volcano god was most upset, belching out smoke, vomiting up lava. It was disgusting, really. Mm, sounds it. And potentially <laughs> hazardous. We knew we had to do something to pacify the volcano god, and we assumed a good sacrifice would do the trick. A reasonable assumption. <laughs> but when we threw the sacrifice into the volcano, Mount oh. erupted violently. We oh. thought Sherman was upset at us, so we started making sacrifices every day. We tried everything. Fish, poultry, livestock, phenol So basically you just... The usual. <laughs> the usual. And one day, we tried Bree. There was a huge eruption that nearly killed us all. <laughs> Bree. What happened? Sherman is lactose <gasps> intolerant. I've got uh, the cheese. It all makes sense now. Now, Sherman is on a very strict diet. He only gets fresh fruit, vegetables, and of course, soy products for the protein so important to muscle building. Yeah, of course. Um... I've got the cheese, I reckon I can throw that in there. Nice villager have. And that'll make nice. it erupt again. It's not much, but we call it home. We've been doing our best to capture the classic charm of a headhunter village. While at the same time incorporating all the modern conveniences brought to us by the European explorers. You may have noticed our first state-of-the-art bloodletting clinic. Which has been <laughs> cleverly designed to look like a traditional shaman's hut. Oh, that's what it is. Oh, quaint! Yes, we think so. Okay, um, do you live in fear of the fruit fly menace? Do you live in fear of the fruit fly menace? Not since I switched to a malathion based cologne. <laughs> Very alluring. Thank you. Oh my god. Stand aside, I mean to visit the volcano. Stand aside, I mean to visit the volcano. I'm afraid I cannot allow that. Oh. Our ritual offering is about to begin. Terrific. I'm fascinated by your quaint tribal customs. Postcards and slides are available in the lobby. <laughs> Non-cannibals are forbidden from witnessing the actual ceremony. Oh man. That's so unfair. Tell it to the volcano gods. I don't make the rules, you know. Okay, um, when does the ceremony begin? When does the ceremony begin? It was supposed to have started half an hour ago. And why didn't Even it? Even now, members of my village are preparing a human-like sacrifice for <sighs> the volcano god. Human-like? I Due see. To the delicate nature of the volcano god's digestion, we can't actually feed him real humans. So we sacrifice a human substitute. It doesn't really taste like a human, but it has a similar texture. So what's the holdup? We're still waiting for our featured guest. Okay, who is your featured guest? Who's your featured guest? He's an ambassador from one of the other islands. It's all part of a new cannibal outreach program. <laughs> cannibal outreach villages. program. Apparently not all villages are as punctual as ours. Uh, I'll help you find him. What does he look like? I don't know. He should be dressed for the ceremony. Ah, uh, we're gonna have to and put together. Be a vegetarian. We specifically asked for a vegetarian. Okay. I get it. Gotta run. Bye. So, we're gonna have to use this to make it, aren't we? The tofu mask. Um, and then we'll have to combine some other things to make him into a... Uh, I wonder if we can... I don't want to use the cheese with that. We'll have to chuck the cheese in at some point, and that'll make the volcano erupt. But we've got to create this tofu-masked <laughs> fake offering thing. <laughs> so um, we'll do that in the next episode, because we're out of time, guys. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click on that like button. It really does help the channel to grow, so I do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new, or just haven't already done so. And I'll see you all next time.